G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star citizen folks and yes today I've got the mighty Karak and I'm actually going to try this is attempt number four by the way um, of trying to do some hole scraping on the Karak. Now why do I mean by attempt number four? Obviously, I haven't put these in previous videos, but um, I'll, I'll let you know in a few seconds. Now, you're probably sitting there saying, hang on, Evan, you, you're doing hole scraping. What the hell are you doing with, like, package delivery stuff? Well, actually, one of you guys in the comments, and I apologize, I don't remember the handle, but uh, one of you guys in the comments have actually said, use the actual package as a marker, because you can't set markers um, on this actual game yet. And... I thought that was so brilliant because I never thought of that. So thank you very much for that and I am going to give this a try now and see how that goes because um, it, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, so the plan is to, <laughs> to pick up a package if I can find parking anywhere. Fucking hell, have you guys noticed this as well? I mean this last week, ever since Invictus week, it seems that every landing pad seems to be a dumping ground for um, any ship you can imagine. Which is cool if you want to try to um, fly new ships. It'd be really nice if people left the doors open so people, other people can go in and experience. But hey, I'm not telling people what to do with their gameplay. But it is quite funny just <laughs> seeing it's like a scrapyard here. Anyway, we're here for the package. Now, I've chosen a very um, uh, one, a one simple pickup per drop-off mission. We're not doing it, okay? We're not doing the package mission. We're just using the box as a marker which kind of also explains why I've been seeing a lot of random boxes just around the verse. So, um, really, thank you, that, that explains that as well. So, I'm going to whack this into the cargo hold of the Karak, so I think right about here looks about good. And, ah, oh, fuck. I hate this placing thing, they've fucked it up completely. Go back to 3.17 where the shit worked. Okay, good, um, it's there. Out of frustration, I threw it. So I've also got my little medical rescue ship, the Pisces, and I'm going to land that in the Karak as well. well. Better not fly too fast there, Evan. You don't need to kamikaze yourself in it. So yeah, this little ship, folks, is fucking nimble. Really, it is nimble. It is ultra sensitive when you touch the keyboard and it just fucking goes, which is great. Um, but you just have to remember when you're fl when, from flying a big ship, to getting into a little one and expecting holding onto the keyboard a little bit longer and yeah you can end up doing some damage but i think that's a good landing yeah, that's quite cool i think that's very good okay so again thank you to everybody in the comments ev killed the engines and ev killed the power because i have been reading the comments and some of you have said that these ships tend to blow up i haven't had that experience yet but obviously the time where i don't want it to happen it's gonna happen so yeah, well, maybe I should keep the power on. Maybe make for a good... Um, I don't remember leaving the ship like this. What the fuck just happened? How did it go sideways? And, and with, the pa with the engine and everything off and it still moved? How is that even fucking possible? Okay, power on. Engine on. Engine's not on. There we go. Engine's on. Here we go. Oh, that, that view didn't help me. Alright, a little bit of bouncing around. Are we in? Just kind of a little bit left. Touch, touch. Right, down. Yeah, that's about center. Kind of thought that's where it was before anyway. Bit of fucking around here, folks. And are we down? We're down. Alright, F, kill it all. Yep. It's off. Okay. So, after that little interesting thing, we're off. And so, I want to actually hull scrape the whole character, okay? And obviously, I've got a vulture that's going to take me about three and a half days to do that. But I want to throw this thing into space. Having it on ground is not going to do me justice because I'll only be able to do the top and the sides. And that might be enough, but I want to do it all because I'm fucking greedy. So, I'm going to whack this thing into kind of a location which is between, um, ah, you'll see in a second. We'll just kind of mosey on through. 
Where is my marker? Didn't I have a marker somewhere? Sorry, folks, I've lost the fucking thing. Where is the marker? There it is. Oh, fuck, it's near the sun. So we're heading to Arc L2. Arc L1? Arc L2? I can't remember. Arc L something or other. And I'm going to stop it. I'm not going to say halfway, but on the way to. Yeah, Arc L1. Alright, fair enough. Fuck, that sun is great in the game, but it's also fucking blinding. Um, so... I reckon somewhere here is just enough out of people's way so people wouldn't do this by accident and it also gives me a chance to come back and um well hole scrape so here we go now that view is going to drive me crazy if I'm doing that let's just move out of the Sun's um, general direction so what do you reckon sideways a little bit about here I think that should be enough that should be fine so we'll take the good old Pisces out and we'll get going, hey eh, folks? Can't have. Uh, of course, landing gear, master modes, change things around. Yep, that's all good. I'm just checking for my marker. There it is, package. Okay, cool. I like this. Got this thing tagged as well. <laughs> I think we're ready. Let's see if this works, eh, folks? So... I'm going to head back to area 18 now. If it fucking that. Okay, it shows kind of something there. It shows the package there. So we've got the marker. All right, let, let, let's see what we can do. Let, I'm, I'm interested. I, I really am hoping this is going to work. So we're going to head back to area 18, pick up the vulture, come back here, and start hole scraping. And we'll see what this actually does. Uh, yeah, this way, that's right. Come on. So, and boom, there we go. Area 18, in about 3, 2, 1, eh, why are we still fucking around with the quantum travel? There you go. So, little bit of um, time saving editing there. <laughs> Saved you all about a minute and a half. Thank me later. Now, I've just seen the landing pads here, which kind of... Have they always been there or not? I don't fucking know anymore. But I might come around and fuck around with those things in a later video. But yeah, let's go for a bit of a fly around. We've got time. No one's chasing us. And to be very honest with you, I can't fucking remember which way the landing site was. Is it this way? Is it that way? Where the fuck is it? I hate daytime landings. I really do. You guys have heard me bitch about this in other videos, but I'm serious. Uh, I see a ship marker over there, so it has to be that way, hopefully. So it would be really nice if they just put a fucking marker on the screen saying Area 18, and if you get within 10 kilometers of the bloody thing, it goes away. They do that for other bounty mission type things. They should be able to do that for these things. That would be so helpful. Especially for new players to the game and also old farts like me who don't know where these fucking things are even though he's flown in and out of Area 18, I don't know, about a thousand times now. So, yeah. The fuck is that? Okay, it's just some numbers. Alright, never paid attention to that shit before. And I'm going to come in for a landing. Might make sense to actually figure out where I'm landing. Nope. F. Where are we? Have we even called home yet? No, of course we haven't called home yet. So, come on, you mongrel. Where are we? Landing pad 3, I'm guessing? Ah, oh, look at that. I've <laughs> been playing this game for far too long. Come on. All right, there we go. Now, normally I cut this shit out, but I thought today, keep it in there because you guys need to actually see what goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> the fancy transitions doesn't does not do this shit justice. Okay, so let's go. We're going to do a bit of a hard landing here today, folks. Come on, it, this is not going to be graceful. It's just going to be hard because we know we're going to claim this ship and next time for a next event like this. So get, bring it down. Bring it down, Ev. Come on. We're in. Touchdown. Soon. Three. Now. Go. Fucking kill the engines. There you go. 
and we got the vulture and we're also missing some stuff underneath again oh boy my graphics card is doing well today folks oh it's a bit choppy now at area 18 so we left hangar 3 for those of you that are interested and what the fuck is going on it's a lovely crackling sound i know and the camera is shaking like you wouldn't believe okay so let us get ourselves orientated here folks i'll just get a little bit higher up into the atmosphere and why am i doing that because i've noticed that if you start mucking around with the maps like for quantum markers and shit like that it doesn't work in the atmosphere it's a hit and miss 50 50 but i've found if you get above a certain height like around about or it is, about seven kilometers up or so it actually starts to work a little bit better so that's the idea that hopefully at this point we can use the map to go to the marker and uh, bob's your uncle so just just so it actually works we'll do a bit higher there you go so all right cool everything's there it's fine now arc l2 was no, arc l1 was that way okay oh no <laughs> Why won't it let me uh, show me the ship? Very nice. Even though it's not got the outline of the ship, but it's telling me everything else is on the ship. Get, route me to the ship. Oh, you fucking mongrel of a thing. Well, the marker worked, but the quantum, do it doesn't want to, come on, lock it in. How can you not know where it is? You know where it is. The marker is there. Sorry, I'm, I'm yelling at the game. If fucking hell, why don't you do that? You can even tell me where the ramp access is. Even better, lock into that. Ah, <laughs> uh, this isn't gonna fucking work, is it, folks? Are we gonna have to go back to the old, um, let's just say, trial and error, get there and see if we can get in range type of activities? We're gonna have to, aren't we? Clicking it 300 times is not gonna do anything. Okay. Why doesn't that work now? Hang on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please let me know in the comments if this shit happens to you. Or if this is just um, a, a a thing for Hey Ev. Oh, for fuck's sake, you piece of shit. So, now, I'm confused. Does that mean the marker works? And I just won't do it because the map's not lock working locking on? Or does it mean something else is not working? I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. That would be extremely helpful. So now we're going to do the old approach of um, uh, let's take a, a stab at it and see how the fuck we go. So we're going to be fucking around here, folks. At least a little bit. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, because I didn't leave from Lyra, I left from our area 18, the course it's got me on is not going to give me a, a direct intercept. So it's going to kind of go mm, like this. So 34 million kilometers. I would hope. No, no, that can't be million kilometers. Million... What the, what the hell is the M for? 34 million... What? What's MM? Ah, it... Stop it! Oh. How is this? Where is this? Ah, now, see, look at this. And again, thank you for letting me know about the package marker. Because if I've done this before, and I've been following that little marker that you see there in the blue, that didn't work. Now... What you've just seen is a transition that did not work well for me. I thought I could get closer than the um, three uh, million and I fucked it up completely. And the closest I could get again was about 8.4. So yeah, um, I left, what, huh? Disconnected for being inactive for too long. Oh, for fuck's sake. What, you can't leave the damn ship in cruise control and just, oh, piss off. Uh, I'm back at Area 18. Okay, that's a dead video. 
Okay, folks, thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, shit, that didn't work.